friends good morning welcome to daily bible reading video of read bible with me yesterday we have read proverbs chapter 14 today we are going to read proverbs chapter 15 i request everyone to turn bible with me or even you can listen to my readings if you are having any prayer request you can post in the comment section or even you can gmail us every details are in the description box below please find it out so let's begin today's bible reading Proverbs chapter 15. A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge are aright, but the mouth of the fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness there is, therein is a bridge in the spirit. A fool despiseth his father's instruction, but he that regardeth her reproof is prudent. In the house of righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doeth not so. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is is delight the way of the wicked is an abomination unto the lord but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way and he that hateth reproof shall die hell and destruction are before the lord how much more than the hearts of the children of men a scorner loveth not one that reproveth him neither will he go unto the wise a merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, but by sorrow of the heart the spirit is broken. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishment. All the days of the afflicted are evil, but he that is of merry heart hath a continual feast. Better is little with fear of the Lord than great treasure and trouble therewith. Better is a dinner of herbs where love is than a stalled ox and hatred therewith. A wrathful man stirreth up strife, but he that is slow to anger upsit strife. The way of the slothful man is an hedge of thorns, but the way of the righteous is made plain. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish man despiseth his mother. Folly is a joy to him that is destitute of wisdom, but... A man of understanding walketh uprightly, without counsel purposes are disappointed, but in the multitude of counsellors they are established. A man hath joy by the answer of his mouth, and a word spoken is in due season, how good is it. The way of life is about to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. The Lord will destroy the house of the proud, but he will establish the border of the widow. The thoughts of the wicked are an abomination to the Lord, but the words of the pure are pleasant words. He that is greedy of great gain troubleth his own house, but he that hateth gifts shall live. The heart of the righteous studieth to answer, but the mouth of the wicked poureth out evil things. The Lord is far from the wicked, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. Light of the eyes rejoiceth the heart, and a good report maketh the bonds fat. The, the ear that heareth the reproof of life abideth among the wise. He that refuseth instruction despiseth his son's soul, but he that heareth reproof getteth understanding. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. So that's chapter 15. I am going to read of my favorite verse. Chapter 15, verse 1. A soft answer turneth away to wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Verse 3. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. Verse 14. The heart of him that hath understanding seeketh knowledge, but the mouth of fools feedeth on the foolishment, foolishness. And verse 33. The fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom, and before honor is humility. So as always, I'm going to write this Bible verse in my book. So if you also had some favorite Bible verse, I would request you to make a note of that verse. I will see you all tomorrow with the next chapter. Until then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful, nice day. God bless you.